let's start with young people on our planet. A recent survey showed that 40% of young people, people like you, are worried about the prospects of having families in the future. I understand this worry. I believe that all your teachers understand this worry and anxiety as well. A lot of people on our planet are very worried and anxious. And I understand these feelings. On TV, we can watch documentaries about the beautiful natural world. But recently, what we see on TV, on YouTube, in newspapers, on social media, are the really tough realities of climate change. Floods, huge forest fires, melting polar ice caps, extinction of many animals, threatened animals, overfishing, extremely high temperatures in regions, no, fall in, no rainfall in some places, desertification, villages, towns and cities threatened by rising sea levels, and more. Climate change is related to everything and to every subject you study at EBS. English and other languages are needed for people around the world to talk to each other about climate change. History helps us understand what we have done with coal, oil and gas to industrialize. Economics is related to every business decision and all businesses have carbon footprints. Science is about life about energy and its uses, and about the effects of burning fossil fuels. Cooking is about our diet, and food production, and agricultural production. So it's about pesticides, and fertilizers, and climate change, and environmental damage. In short, climate change is related to all your studies in school. Many things we do in our lives and things our ancestors have done before us have contributed to climate change. So we are responsible. You, me, all of us on this planet, we are responsible. I'm not an optimist and I'm not a pessimist when it comes to climate change. I think that now is an opportunity for all human beings to focus. It is important to understand that you, I, we live now. We live in the present and we think in the present. If we think now about our reality and we understand our reality now, we will act in the right way. We can all do the right thing. Doing the right thing, we will feel better and feel healthier. I'd like to tell you about four people I've met and one I would really like to meet. The four are Ruth, Jose, Agnes and George. I met Ruth when I visited a secondary school in a small poor town in Colombia two years ago. Ruth was head teacher of this school in Puerto Geras. She told me about a serious forest fire that had burnt down a large area in a national park nearby. She had thought about this and she had acted. She secured money to start a project at her school. Ruth had started an eco-project involving all the children in her school. All children went to natural forests outside Puerto Geras to collect seeds. They collected these seeds, planted them in pots, and when the seedlings were large enough, they planted the seedlings in the area where the fires had occurred. Ruth told me that the school had run out of money to continue the project. I said I wanted to help. Two months later, I organized a crowdfunding appeal called Help Colombian School Children Plant Trees and I to give money to the school. The day I started the appeal, I participated in a peaceful demonstration about climate change outside the House of the Parliament. A year later, I met Jose in another demonstration about climate change, also outside the Houses of Parliament. Jose is from Peru, and he speaks Spanish, but his first language is Quechua. And this is important to say because Quechua is an ancient language and was the language of the Incas. The Incas, like almost all indigenous peoples around the world, have lived in harmony with their environment. 
their societies did not contribute to climate change. Corsair cares very, very much about the natural world. I met Agnes on a bus going to Trafalgar Square. She recognized I was going to the same place because of my placard. When we walked the last bit to Trafalgar Square, she said goodbye and explained that she was going to join her son and her grandchildren. That is, three generations of the family were showing that they were concerned about climate change and wanted action. A fortnight ago, I played a tennis match against a guy called George at my tennis club. Afterwards, we had a chat for the first time. He told me that in his free time, he had trained as a carbon footprint consultant. Through his company, www.doitproperly.co.uk, he told me he'd contacted companies and big organizations in the borough of Haringey. And at no cost, at no cost, he would assess their carbon footprint and make suggestions about how they could reduce it. George is passionate about this activity. He's very concerned about climate change. These four people I have met, and I admire each of them for what they have chosen to do related to climate change. They are doing the right thing. Before I lived in Colombia, I lived in Sweden. And the person who I would really like to meet is Greta Thunberg who comes from Sweden. She started to, prote to protest against climate change when she was only 16. And little by little, the world saw her, and many people were inspired by her. I think she's a fantastic inspiration. In 2019, when I was visiting Puerto Lleras, Thunberg was crowned Times Magazine Person of the Year. Politician at the time tweeted, So ridiculous. Greta must work on our anger management problem. Then go to a good old fashioned movie with a friend. Chill, Greta, chill. Greta's a clever, thoughtful teenager. And she did not respond. But 11 months later, that same politician was about to lose power. And Tumberi coolly tweeted, So ridiculous. You must work on your anger management problem. Then go to a good old-fashioned movie with a friend. Chill yourself. Chill. Greta shows us all a fantastic example of what a young person can achieve. I think she's a great inspiration. She has empowered herself by thinking about climate change and taking action. She has empowered others to think about climate change and take action. My message to you is to think about what you can do about climate change and to take action. Here are some suggestions. Eat less meat and fish. Eat more vegetables and fruit. Walk more. Traveling cars and aeroplanes, less. Use less gas and electricity. Talk to your parents or guardians about turning the thermostat down at home. Plant a tree. Buy less things. Look after what you have much better. Avoid plastic bags when you go shopping. Buy fruit and vegetables that are grown locally. Recycle much more. Find out what your carbon footprint is and identify how you can improve it. Be kind to everybody and all life. Respect everybody and all lives. And show integrity in all your relations. By acting and by doing the right thing, you will empower yourself and you will feel better. <laughs>